Defined features, shy, almost frightened. Maradona kept this expression on his face for his entire life. Before you get down on yourself, here's a piece of advice. Take inspiration from a young Maradona, a life full of love, excess, anger, fighting, a life that was a success while everyone expected it to be a failure. It was in poverty that Diego Armando Maradona first saw the light of day in October 1960. He grew up in Villa Fiorito, a slum in the Buenos Aires suburbs. The houses were collapsing and no one collected the garbage. Drugs and violence were always present in Maradona's surroundings. Diego Sr. worked in a factory to try and earn enough money to feed his family, while Dona Tota, his wife, looked after and educated their seven kids. His mother's behavior concerned Diego. Very often, when they'd sat down for a meal, Dona Tota complained about having a stomach ache, a pain that could be so intense it even stopped her from eating. At least, that's how it seemed. She never had a stomach ache. She just wanted us to eat. Every time the food would come out, she would say, my stomach hurts. It was a lie. It was because there was not enough to go around. Another sacrifice Diego's parents made was buying this ball for their son's third birthday. It was with this ball that he demonstrated his skill week after week, putting on a show for all of Fiorito with his unmatched technique. Diego quickly realized that this ball was going to determine his family's future. Young Diego didn't have a choice. He had to succeed to save his parents, his brothers, and his sisters from poverty. And to do that, talent alone wasn't enough. He now had to summon up all his determination. Diego showed this extra something special as soon as he joined his first football club, Argentinos Juniors. Aged eight, Maradona was more muscular than the other kids his age, but was still much shorter than them. Some of the club's managers accused him of being older than he was and of being a teenager with dwarfism. Dona Tota was even forced to present her son's birth certificate to prove he wasn't older than eight. Now with the right to play, Maradona had a huge presence. No defender could get the ball from him. His technique with the ball at his feet and the strength of his legs allowed him to beat any opponent. So much so that he quickly became public enemy number one in the eyes of the opposition team's parents. They didn't understand how a kid that was so short, so atypical, so poor could be better than their kids. They insulted him. Dirty rat. You have dark skin. Kill him. Young Diego responded on the pitch. He had only one aim, scoring goals. His first coach, Francisco Cornejo, was convinced that this hatred made Diego even better. Football transformed him internally, making him a natural winner. As competitive at 12 years old for a soda than at 25 years old for the World Cup. The club Argentinos Juniors wanted to make Maradona an even stronger player. Young Diego had to double down on his training sessions. His father, who got up at 5 a.m. every morning to go to the factory, crossed Buenos Aires every afternoon to take his son to the training ground a journey that took Diego Sr. and Jr. hours navigating from one bus to another. When he turned 15, the club decided to house Diego in an apartment near the stadium so he could train more easily. It's at that moment that Diego received his first paycheck. Proud of earning this money by himself, he decided to buy his parents a television as a first purchase. At 15, Diego became like another father for us he made our day-to-day -day lives much more comfortable. Maradona knew he had to become one of the best if he wanted to be able to pay for a new house for his parents. And to become the best, he'd have to move into the pro ranks. 10 days before celebrating his 16th birthday, Maradona became the youngest player in history to play in the Argentine first division. The crowds were already singing his name. A few moments after coming onto the pitch, Diego did a memorable nutmeg. The crowd sang his name even louder. Maradona scored his first professional goal two weeks after celebrating his 16th birthday. Argentina had found its greatest young talent. 
Diego drew his success from hatred, which energized and motivated him. He'd almost found his way out, but knew he still had to cross mountains to successfully save his family from poverty. He got angry when you said that kids from his neighborhood were all dirty, ignorant, and useless. He wanted to become a representative of this excluded population. That's why he was never sick, and he still played even if he injured himself. Diego Maradona was injured for his entire life, injured by his past, injured by betrayals, injured by his fragile health, injured by his addiction. He was always injured, but he never stopped playing. And when Diego played, Maradona won. The rest belongs to history. While there will always be some doubts about Maradona's dark side, two things are 100% certain when you talk about Diego Maradona. He loved football with all his soul, and he never really lost his inner child, which gave him the strength he needed to never lose hope. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and like.